Good morning guys. I just woke up like literally just woke up and I missed all of my alarms and I have class in like 15 minutes <laughs> This is the most real morning routine you're gonna get. We got a new skincare routine. Thank God for Chris Clemens We are now using Biba and I freaking love it. It's amazing. We amped up it was definitely not cheap, but I'm very thankful because I got a skin consultation done by Biba. She told me like what I should use, what I should avoid. My skin's getting so much better, so I'm not mad about it. Back with the reusable cotton rounds, of course. We're gonna start with the Biba micellar water. If I wake up and I feel like my skin's really like oily or something, I will use the Mandelic cleansing gel, but today I'm feeling good. Next, we're gonna do the glycolic lactic toner just a little because this stuff hurts it's great for your skin but it actually burns oh my god i literally have class in like 10 minutes it's okay i don't have to go speaking of classes can we just talk about i'm doing msu online but i actually kind of hate it and i hate my major i was a zoology major so i'm taking a lot of chemistry and bio heavy classes and i like biology but i hate chemistry and we're doing a geography class and i don't understand maps at all i know for a fact i'm changing my major and i might be transferring colleges up to the up Stay tuned, we'll see. So after my toner, I'm going in with the Meta C Serum. She also recommended to do the Mandelic Serum, but I'm trying this one and then I'm gonna try that one and then we're gonna see which one we like the best, but they're expensive so I didn't wanna buy both. I'm just patting this into my skin. You really don't need a lot, like a oil goes a long way. And then the last important step of your skincare, lotion with 32 SPF. This is part of Biba's line, but I think she's like partnered with Image Skincare. That's a reminder for my class. Oh boy, guys, I've been like, I don't know what it is, but I think the fact that I have to like pick what I'm supposed to do with my life is stressing me out. And I have not slept good in like days. Like I went to bed last night at like 12 and I set my alarm for like 8.30 today. Like my body heard it and turned it off in my sleep. Like I have no idea, but I just woke up at 11 and I was like, I have class in like 30 minutes. Now I have to wait until after my class to work out, eat breakfast. And today I have two classes in the morning. So I'm not done with this until like one. Damn, that's really sad. So instead of eating breakfast like a smart person, I'm filming my skincare for you. I don't, yeah, that's, that is the update of today. But can we just, I know I have like a few pieces like on my face of acne, like just a few, but like it's so much better overall. We even never said to do this, but I do it anyway because it's literally just oxygen, no, hydrogen and water, I think. I talked to her about getting a hydrating toner instead of the lactic acid one because that one like super hurts. But she was like, no, just do it once a day instead. Like if it keeps bothering you, then we can do another one. But okay, I'll catch in with you guys after my class. I just trying to grab you guys because I realized why am I not filming this? Watching my math soon. I'm gonna make a chai latte. Come on, skinny love, just last year. Gotta suck up some vitamin D before it disappears for the winter. I just finished my classes for the day. Wednesdays are pretty easy, so not mad about that. I'm genuinely so excited because my friend Elise, she was in my reaction video to dyeing my hair black. She has her birthday today, October 7th. So she and I have a shared love for Billie Eilish. So we kind of share that love for music. And we were actually gonna go to Billie's concert together, but because we can, 
event. Billie just released today that she's doing a live stream concert on October 24th and I'm so excited because this is the perfect opportunity to still actually hang out with her. So I bought her and I both tickets to go and watch this live stream and we get like access to special merch and everything. So I'm very excited. The confirmation for buying the ticket is really cute. It says like you now have a ticket. I'm gonna print this out and I'm going to write her a cute little card. Just kind of like make it super cute. I'm very excited and we get to like actually exist in this concert together so I'm really excited. That's all. I'm just very excited. Melissa Woodhouse, we're gonna do that right now. If any of you were here during my North Carolina vlogs, you would have known that I used water bottles to work out as my weights. I'm very proud to say I have upgraded to Bala Bangles, which I showed in my, I think, 18th birthday haul? Maybe, I think, I'm not sure. But this, I love them. Today is a using your own body weight day, so. I am in love with this Fabletics outfit. So I filmed an entire Fabletics haul, all of the stuff that I got from Fabletics, and then I ended up hating the video so much, I just didn't like how it came out. I kept trying to fix it, put new overlays on, I just did not like the video at all. So that is never gonna come out, <laughs> but I will show you this adorable top. It has fun leggings There's a pocket built into the side there butt backwards. Oh my god. So fun Come on, skinny love, what happened? Beautiful, oh, cheers Guys, we are back. This lighting makes me look really white. I just wish I was less pale. My nighttime routine is basically the same as my morning routine, give or take like two steps, I think. Also, as I was editing this morning's video, I didn't show you guys brushing my teeth. I didn't say anything about it, but I definitely did. I just want to make that clear. Cause otherwise, that's kind of yucky. Brush your teeth, people. I think I'm just gonna have to look really pale on this. Okay, we're gonna have to tie my hair back for this cause I have to wash my face. Start off my cellar water. That was kind of Australian. Also, as I was watching back, me doing my morning routine, I kind of realized that I'm very harsh on my skin. Like when I put products on, we try and be more nice to it because I feel like that was very aggressive. We just got water on my skin, the Mandela cleansing gel. This stuff smells so good. It smells like home. <laughs> Feel like a newborn so clean did you guys know that if you put these in hot water they shrink back to their normal size see how big it is right now give me a second i can show you it's so much smaller hot water i'm gonna do the toner again even though she said do it once i like torturing my skin or whatever i'm so sad i'm getting another blemish come on come on skin gods Biba. We're gonna give this a second to chill on my face before i put the serum on so it doesn't like hurt That was really weird. Okay, we're gonna take Meta C Serum. Small taps. Gotta be softer on my face. Sometimes if I have a little extra, I'll put it on my decollete, which I just learned the word, so I wanna use it. It's basically like your upper chest, your clavicle, I think that's what it's called, right? And then for nighttime, obviously I'm not in the sun. So instead of SPF, we have Viva's Daily Moisturizer. I just put this on the back of my hand, super easy. Same exact thing. I put it on like my high points of my face, like my cheekbones, center of my forehead, and then the leftovers just go on my neck. It took me a long time to get used to padding my skincare, my lotions and stuff into my face, like near your eyes, because you just wouldn't think about it. But apparently, very important. I mean, it can't hurt you to be softer on your skin, right? This is so unnatural. This just feels weird. Evian. And then lastly, which I didn't show you guys this morning, sometimes if I feel like I need it, I will do a face mask. I have the Calming Zinc and Sulfur Mask by Biba, and it came with, or whatever they're called, like the little silicone piece to put your face mask on. If I need it, I'll do a face mask before my skincare routine normally. I don't. And then every single night I use Aquaphor because it's just amazing. I'll put it on my lips and I'll also put it on my tattoos. A tattoo artist said that Aquaphor is like the best thing to put on your tattoos when they're new. I suck at taking them, but vitamins. And I recently learned that you're actually not supposed to take vitamins. Or what? That you shouldn't take prebiotics or probiotic probiotic probiotics if they aren't refrigerated because that means there's not as many active cultures or it's not alive or something i don't know a b12 pill that i take every other day because biba said it's not good for your skin like it can actually make you break out which is interesting i didn't, didn't know that i just wouldn't think about it 
okay, I'm gonna go make some tea, watch Say Yes to the Dress, and go to bed. Yeah.